Hai. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Mari kita sekarang tengok itu penutup pada 17 November 2020. KSE 17 November 2020 close. Eh? KSCI ditutup uh, 10 mata lebih tinggi hari ni pada 161015 161.15 dia naik 10 mata terus uh, terus naik maknanya trend ni uh, uh, masih masih trending up lagi masih training ke atas eh. KSCI close uh, 10 point up to 1610.15 uh, that means uh, it is it continue it up trend eh. KSCI um, uh, meningkat pada awal pagi yang, tapi kemudiannya uh, turun uh. paling rendah pada 1593 ni paling rendah 1593 dan uh, tapi uh, sebelum penutup pada waktu pagi uh, dia naik semula kepada lebih kurang 1, 1608 uh. Pada sebelah petang dia naik naik sampai tinggi 1613 paling tinggi 1613.34 tapi ditutup pada 1610 ditutup pada 1025 10 point up 0.66% saham naik dan saham turun sama aja 648 naik turun 655 1 to 1 eh? satu saham naik satu saham turun KCI move up early in the morning but uh, by 10 it had gone to its lowest of uh, 1593 before it crept up again at, at the close of the morning session it is around 1608 sorry 1603 yeah, I said 1603 and uh, in the afternoon it moved high up to 1613 but at the close uh, it managed at 1610 10 point up the number of shares up and down is the same 648, 655 about the same melihat kepada saham-saham di bawah KSCI ternyata yang top glove masih turun tetapi harta uh, naik sikit lebih kurang 1% eh? tapi top glove turun 2.78% ini disebabkan uh, berlaku kes COVID-19 di hostel uh, top glove di mana lebih kurang 5,000 pekerja Paksa di quarantine. Uh, top glove semua ada lebih kurang 13-14 ribu pekerja. Jadinya 5,700 5, daripada ini akan di quarantine. Maknanya masih ada lebih kurang 7 ribu lebih lah yang masih boleh bekerja. Antara saham-saham yang naik Banyak eh? 
เยอะเลยครับมีเอ่อเอชฮอลิโอมเบงเหรอเป็นในแปะเป็นชิมินันยูแปะตัวใช่ไหมถ้าพี่อะไรตักเดือนไหนบ้างเนี่ยยันตัวรุ่นบ้างเนี่ยปุ่นตักเดือนนี่ยันตัวบ้างเนี่ย MIC MIC mengumumkan dia punya keputusan dia tadi ternyata keputusannya kurang baik ya financial kurang baik sebabnya turun RHB Bank naik dua peratus CIMB, CIMB naik sikit ya. RG naik sikit. Hong Leong Finance Group naik sikit. Okay. Okay. Um, tak ada apa-apa Firework Nampaknya Ok um, Hak Seng naik sikit ya. um, Itu Ok um, This is the stock That represent the KSI among the notable movies. Uh, Top Glove who moved down uh, 2.78. This is due to COVID-19 uh, that ha that affect the uh, a portion of the staff. They say that around uh, 5,700 or so staff had to be quarantined because of the COVID. But All in all, they have 13,000 staff, so the other 7 or 8,000 is still, is still okay. Among the notable move is uh, on Leon Bank, 4.992. Dialog move uh, 2.84 down. Okay, there is no real no real firework today. So more, most of the share is rather uh, up a bit up or a bit down. That is the index share. Looking at the rubber glove shares, a few. Move up. K plus comfort and harder. And uh, if you move down, AT that have been moving up uh, now move down quite a lot, five point seven percent. From the few results that have been announced, uh, it's quite obvious now that the plantation counter uh, made a significant gain. Uh, this is due to the price increase uh, of the CPO. CPO price uh, uh, comparatively went up from 1900 uh, 1900 the previous uh, the previous quarter uh, to one uh, two six and above 
uh, in the in the third quarter, or most of them, uh, that, that is uh, in September. Eh? In September, the the price had gone up to two thousand six hundred, whereas in March, the price is only one thousand nine hundred. So, so there there is a very big uh, significant increase in the CPO price. And this uh, give a big impact to the plantation counters. This, uh, I try to capture all the plantation counters here. Got two pages, uh, but this, this is uh, the first page. I think we have to watch for Genting uh, Plantation, G-E-N-P. KAK and uh, Batu Kawan eh? Batu Kawan and KAK will, will always move in tandem because there is uh, Batu Kawan has uh, don't have their own uh, plantation but they they are under plantation counter because all their shares all their investment is actually on KAK so they they are they are always together and uh, i think uh, the other pertam has announced the result uh, Kertam and Cepat uh, announced the result. Also good because of, of that. There are two things that uh, really push up the plantation counters. One is of course, I mentioned just now, the CPO price that increased by good 30%. Eh? Um, the other is the strengthening of the ringgit to US dollars. The now the ringgit is uh, converted at four point one two one three range, whereas the previously it is uh, traded at four point three or or four point four as high as, uh, as low as four point four and and also four point three. To one US dollars, this make a uh, significant uh, uh, change to the to the profit margin of the plantation counter. Yeah, a few more. Okay. Ini ini plantis uh, peladangan, konter uh, konter peladangan. Ini muka pertama ada lagi muka kedua nanti. Um, antara yang kita perlu lihat nanti ialah KAK dan uh, batu kawan. Batu kawan dengan KAK ni dia sama ya naik. Ya. Kalau naik sama turun pun sama. Karena Batu kawan ni tak ada is, tak ada plantation tak ada tak ada ladang tapi dia semua investment dia, dia pada KLK. Jadi kalau KLK naik batu kawan akan akan naik juga. Uh, dan antara yang dah mengumumkan uh, pendapatan mereka ialah cepat kertam. Kedua dah umum tapi kita kena kita lihat lah nanti yang BLD plantation pun ah itu pat patut kita lihat here got a few interesting one that we can uh, Watch, huh? 
One is of course the United Plantation, UTD PLT. And then the, the other is the R Sawit. And of course, Sandra B Plantation. Same plantation. And also TD, TDM and uh, Tabu Haji planta Plantation. Uh. I think we we should we should watch this. These are this the price are low, so there can be a big inc big increment uh, to, because of the low price. Okay, beberapa yang kita perlu lihat ah, uh, yang nanti ialah saya fikir dalam R Sawit. Um, Sendavi Plantation Itu TH Plantation Dan TDM uh, Dan juga United Plantation United uh, Melaka UMCCA uh, Ini pun kita, kita patut lihat Ini Macam mana dia punya Pendapatan Tapi saya saya jangka pla, semua plantation ni dia akan naik. Ini adalah uh, saham-saham yang kita telah pilih pada hari semalam. Uh, yang yang naik adalah uh, Goko. Dia ni adalah anak serikat kepada Hong, Hong Leong eh? Afin Bank dan uh, Takaful eh? nah, ini ada ini reassurance yang kami ni, ni turun sikit Tio Singh pun turun eh? Today, uh, this is the selection, uh, our selection uh, the previous day. The one that move up is uh, Goko, uh, Afin and Takapu. Two of them are not move, and two of them move down. That is MNRB and Tio Singh. Back to this uh, KSCI chart that I have been training up for a few days now from the 5th of November to now nearly two weeks now they have gone up uh, more than 100 points actually in that uh, two weeks and uh, now it had uh, almost reached to the resistance level of uh, 16.20 today the high is uh, 16.13 eh? and uh, close at 16.10 so so it is uh, around 10 point below the resistance level so we have uh, to see whether it, it can go and pass the resistance level if you remember just now the number of shares that goes up and down is one to one that means uh, whereas the previous day is uh, 7 to 5 so so what it means is that uh, it is uh, softening slowly so the question is that uh, were another bullish push to cross the line or not I think uh, this line still is an, a, a big resistance to the to any move. I hope it can bypass it easily. Okay, that's all for today. I, I think uh, thank you very much for following this uh, channel, and I wish all of you good luck. Setakat tu lah hari ni dah dua minggu dia naik 
dan sampai kepada uh, garis uh, rentangan kita kita harap dia akan dapat terus naik tapi tak tahulah selalunya susah dia nak dia nak terus dapat naik uh, pada garis rentangan yang terlalu kuat macam ni is ini Okay. Good luck to semua. Bye.